Hi everyone, this is Kanna Babu. Today we will try to discuss about ER diagrams, entity relationship diagram. Generally in real time, whenever you develop any project, first of all we need to concentrate on what? Database diagram. Whenever you want to develop any project, is it clear? First of all, we need to gather the requirements from the client and then we need to design the database tables. So ER diagram means entity relationship diagrams. If you want to design the database tables in a proper format, by establishing the relationship between the tables, you must have the knowledge on ER diagram. Before ER diagram, you must have the knowledge on some basic knowledge on the database, table, uh, some relations and everything. So today in this video, I want to discuss about ER diagrams, entity relationship diagram. So generally, whenever you want to draw any diagram, some symbols are required to draw the diagram. So in order to draw the ER diagram also, you must have the knowledge on some symbols. Here I am showing some symbols you can see. First one is rectangle. Rectangle represents a strong entity. Double rectangle represents a weak entity. Entity is nothing but table. Attribute is nothing but column. Is it clear? Any real-time project if you want to develop, first of all you must have the knowledge on this ER diagram. ER diagrams and UML diagrams. ER diagrams are database design diagrams. UML diagrams are class diagrams. Uh, ER diagrams related to the database tables. UML diagrams relate to the uh, code. Okay, na? So entity. Rectangle represents a strong entity. Double rectangle represents weak entity. Ellipse represents a simple attribute. Ellipse with underline represents key attribute. Triple ellipse represents composite attribute. Double ellipse represents multi-valued attribute. Dotted ellipse represents derived attribute. These all symbols are mandatory to draw the ER diagram. Is it clear? And apart from this symbol, some other symbols are also required. Like here you can see. Relation, one to one relation, one to many relation, many to one relation, many to many relation. Diamond represents relationship. Double diamond represents identical relationship. So you must have the knowledge on all these symbols in order to design the database tables. So let us assume that I will try to take one small, uh, this is the sample year diagram. Let us see how to draw this diagram. But initially you don't worry. Let me explain clearly. Okay now. So here let us see, let us take a sample uh, project actually requirement. Let us assume that I am developing a project for a particular restaurant. That restaurant is having branches in different places, different cities, different states different locations nowadays you nowadays you take popular restaurants like kritanga or um, you can take uh, about some other uh, uh, restaurants like uh, um, paradise these all restaurants are very popular they are having multiple branches in different states different cities different locations okay na so different states like telangana state andhra pradesh tamil nadu karnataka etc up mp etc so many different cities, every state will have multiple cities. In Telangana, you have Hyderabad, Varangal. In AP, you have Vizag, Vijayawada, etc. Locations. In city, in, in Hyderabad, you have multiple locations are there. Same restaurant is having branches in multiple locations, multiple states, multiple cities. And uh, this is the initial information we gathered for our project. And this restaurant is having multiple groups. Groups are nothing but some item categories chicken curry biryani roti mutton these all are groups items items are nothing but some andhra chicken curry telangana chicken curry chili chicken etc biryani chicken biryani mutton biryani egg biryani etc so some basic information is required we need to gather the requirement initially in companies what will happen business analyst will be there business analyst will gather the requirement from the client actually business analyst will gather requirement from the client and business analyst will uh, prepare one document. The name of the document is SRS, System Requirement Specification. This document comes of the complete information of the project, like project architecture diagram, UML diagram, ER diagram, uh, sample screens, sample database tables. The total information of the project is documented in one document. The name of the document is SRS. Is it clear? So once when the document is ready, uh, now we need to draw the ER diagrams. Today we are discussing about ER diagrams. First of all, we need to gather the data depending on the requirement. 
Okay, now identify how to draw the ear diagram. That is very powerful topic actually. How to draw the ear diagram. Ear diagram is what all of you? Database design diagram. So by under by uh, seeing the ear diagram, you can easily understand the relationship between what tables and database tables and all the other things. Is it clear, everyone? So here we already discussed that in order to draw the diagram, you must have the knowledge on symbols. Rectangle represents strong entity. Double rectangle represents weak entity. Ellipse represents simple attribute. Key attribute. Dotted uh, ellipse with underline. So now let us assume that we are developing a project for a particular uh, restaurant and that restaurant is having branches in different states, different cities, different locations. So first of all, whenever you want to draw the year diagram, first what to do means identify the what? Identify the columns belongs to identify the parent entities. So there are some steps you need to follow. Your entity is nothing but what? Table action. So what are the steps you need to follow? Step number one, identify the parent entity. Parent entity. So what are the parent entities that are required for our requirement is state, city. Similarly, here you have location. Okay, now state, city. Okay, because restaurant is having branches in different states, different cities, different locations, and uh, some groups and um, some items. Is it clear? And similarly, here you have some uh, um, uh, different uh, employees. Similarly, here we have some restaurant. See, here what I am telling means we are developing a project for a particular restaurant. That restaurant is having branches in multiple cities, multiple states, multiple locations. The owner of the restaurant want to monitor all the operations that will handle within the restaurant in a from a single place. For that, we are developing one application. That is restaurant management system. So first of all, whenever you want to develop any application, you need to gather the data depending on the requirement. So I want to maintain the state details, city details, location details, groups, items, employee, restaurant, outlet, and many more. Order details, booking details, lot of other uh, some shift details. Is it clear? Lot of information is there. We need to gather depending on the requirement. So first of all, we need to identify the parent entities belongs to our requirement. So I identified. So here I will try to write something like here I have one table with name entity. Entity is nothing but table. Okay, na? So here I have one more entity with name city. Here I have one more entity with name what? State. Here state. Here what? City. Here you have something like location. Let us consider with these three things initially. And here you have something like uh, employee. Okay, these three are enough. Initially, we'll draw the year diagram for these three: state, city, location. And here, if you want, you can take one more called employee, something like this. Okay. So at the time of drawing the year diagram, first identify the parent entity. Entity representing with rectangle. This is parent entity: state, city, and this is location, and this is employee. This is your entity. And here attribute attribute is nothing but what column okay now entity is nothing but table attribute is nothing but what column here we have entities here you have what something like some uh, attribute state id state id and what state name these two are attributes actually is it clear and similarly here you have what city id here you have city id and what city name and similar location ID and here you have what location name and here employee number employee name salary something like this so this is my uh, entities so step number one identify the ent parent entities how to draw the year diagram step number one identify the parent entities that is step number one step number two identify the attributes identify the attributes Step number three, identify the key attribute. Identify the key attribute. These all are attributes actually. The attribute must represent with ellipse button. This is your attribute actually. Are you following everyone? This is your attribute. Yes or no? Ellipse button. Attribute must represent with what? Ellipse button. Are you following? These all are attributes. 
okay na and in our database point of view attribute is nothing but column the entity is nothing but table is it clear how to draw the year diagram that's that's what i'm explaining you i take a small scenario and i'm explaining uh, is it clear i want to maintain the state details city details location details and employee details so here state comes up two attributes state id and state name city comes up two attributes city id and city name location comes up two attributes location id and location name employee comes up three attributes employee number employee name and what uh, salary so here there are four entities are there and these all are attributes so that is step number two step number one identify the parent entity step number two identify the attributes identify the key attribute key attribute means the important column in the table will become, become as key attribute generally ids will be key attributes here state id is there in state entity state id is key attribute in city entity city id is key attribute in location entity location id is key attribute in employee entity employee number is key attribute so step number one identify the uh, parent entities identify the simple attributes identify the key attributes generally this key attribute is primary key actually we'll try to apply primary key for this key attribute now identify the individual tables all we have done identify the key attributes next step is establish the relationship establish the relationship and relation relationship and relation between the entities between the entities is it a relationship just for understanding purpose here you see is there a relation is there or not you need to identify here establish the relation and relationship this is a diagram we'll use diamond symbol we'll try to use establish the relation and what relationship between these entities yes or no here you can see here i am trying to establish the relation and relationship between these entities yes or no here you can see establish the relation and relationship between the entities yes or no and here what is the relationship just for understanding purpose here i will establish the relation one state can have many cities one state can have many cities that is the relationship so that is the relation relation is one to many and here one city can have many locations one city can have many locations and one location one employee is staying in one location or one location can have many employees and uh, multiple employees belongs to one location multiple employees belongs to one location and one employee that's it this is the relation this is how you can draw the year diagram entity relationship diagram database diagram is it clear what are the relations i established here one state can have many cities many cities whether you read from left to right or left, right to left the meaning must be same or many cities uh, are available in one state similarly one city can have many locations one city can have many locations and similarly one location can have many employees many employees are staying in one location is it clear something like that so this is how you can draw the year diagram entity relationship diagram so what are the rules you have to follow in order to draw, draw the year diagram identify the parent entity identify the simple attribute identify the key attribute establish the relationship and relation between the entities is it clear establish the relationship and relation between the entities year diagram is the database design diagram is it clear so mostly in companies what will happen whenever you want to draw any database diagram or year diagram you have to follow this symbol section okay in the next video i will tell you how to convert this year diagram into physical database for more videos try to subscribe to this channel thank you have a nice day